Hey, have you seen the switch to Zoho CRM 2016 link at the top of your Zoho? I really recommend that you give it a try. It's not only a fresh new user interface, but it also has a ton of new features that I know you're going to like. You can see that the home page looks pretty much the same as it has the three views of the getting started and the classic view and the customized view. But let's look a bit deeper and start with the leads module. Though it may seem strange at first, with just a few quick pointers, I can help you get up to speed pretty quickly. You'll notice the left filter panel um, that helps you do searches on your data. Normally, we're used to using the search icon up here at the top, but this is a way for you to search by field. For example, I might want to search for companies that contain the word industry. So I'll just click on that and click Apply Filter, and it'll filter my list for um, what kinds of, of uh, views I have with the company name of industry. Or for instance, maybe I want to look for my leads in Texas. I don't see the state field here, so I can use this search icon right here and look for state, which is right here, and I can say is Texas and click Apply Filter, and it would show me my leads in Texas. I'm going to clear both of those. Let's go look at the Contacts view, because you'll notice that there is another column in each of the views that we see. This column is going to show us in the list view that you have. In this case, I've got an all public list view. Uh, it will show you which of your records have activity scheduled. For instance, Ethan has an appointment or an event today. Greg has an overdue activity that was due um, uh, some time back. Uh, Kevin has a future uh, calendar event and Lance has a future phone call. So in addition, I can see that there are other ways that I can filter the list as well. Notice over here, in addition to the fields, we have activities, email, and notes filters. For example, show me all of my contacts in this view that don't have any open activity, which is a great way to uh, find contacts that you don't want to fall through the cracks. Show me every record with overdue activities. Show me things that are due today. Show me contacts without any activity in the last, let's say, two months. Uh, it's a great way to look for things. I could also look at the email status. One of the nice things about email is now that it's going to track, has the email been sent or opened or re received? There's a lot of different ways that you can track the emails that has been sent out of Zoho right now. So it would show you a quick way to filter your list, either by notes added. I know I added a note to somebody in the last couple of weeks, and I just can't remember who it was with. Take that off. Um, email that hasn't been sent in the last couple of days. So it would show you a quick way to filter your list, either by notes added. I know I added a note to somebody in the last couple of weeks, and I just can't remember who it was with. Um, or I could do uh, something where I could look at all of my contacts without any notes at all. You're also going to have this left panel when you look um, at your individual contact records. Let's go look at Lance in particular. Now the panel at the left is for navigation. This is probably my favorite feature. Notice it used to be that you had to scroll very far, so now I can click on the notes related item and it'll immediately scroll to that area. I could look at closed activities, I could look at um, campaigns I've sent, I could look at surveys that Lance has returned and filled out, or I can use the universal go to the top of the screen button over here at the far right. In addition, we've got this panel in the middle here that tells you the most important things about the record, what kind of deals they have in play. If you have books associated, it'll show you some um, if they owe you any money. If you have overdue activities, it'll show you the overdue activities in the middle of the screen. So it's very handy. But most importantly, you'll see as you point to each of the related items at the left, you'll see these little plus signs. That's a way for you to add something. For example, anytime you see a plus, you can add 
a note, click on the plus and it automatically starts a note for you. You can add an activity. I can add a task um, to follow up with uh, Lance, we'll say tomorrow, and click save. So it's a, and it automatically scrolls you to that area and it'll automatically be on the list. When I go back to the view, the contact list view, um, notice that the how to create a new view was originally at the right of the existing view. Now we have it at the bottom uh, to how to create a new view for any module. It works the same way. You've got the name, the criteria, and you can choose the columns like you always could, but it's just a, it's just in a different location. Speaking of different locations, the other thing that's moved is there used to be a recent items clock over here at the left. It's now down here at the bottom. It's a little still the clock, but when you click on it, there are 20 of your most recent records that you've looked at, which is actually pretty nice, but it's easy to go back and forth between um, records that you want to view very quickly. If you want to see more of the list view, use the collapse arrow right here to uh, collapse the list and make it a little bit uh, so you can see more things in the single view. The tools icon up here in the upper right is the wrench and the screwdriver together. That's where well, that's what has taken the place of the old setup link, but once you get there and you click setup, you're back to uh, should be a view that you're used to seeing if you've used the setup area before. One of the things, new things that's in setup is Marketplace. If you have the enterprise version, it allows you to have extensions, or uh, basically they're like buttons that will that will automatically link uh, your Zoho to other things, like Zillow or Zendesk or um, QuickBooks or um, GoToMeeting. For example, I have mine clicked uh, linked to GoToMeeting, so let me give you an example of what that might look like. So if I go to Lance once again, notice that I have a button up here at the top. I have actually a couple of buttons. Uh, you can have up to 50 buttons, which is quite a bit, but I'm just going to pick the schedule GoToMeeting. This links my Zoho CRM with GoToMeeting. It automatically creates an event. It schedules a meeting in my GoToMeeting account. It sends the user a meeting invite. Um, it's kind of a really nice all integrated package um, that works really great. Another new feature is the ability to have multiple layouts depending on what kind of record it is. For example, I could have a layout that uh, that is for brokers which has a certain set of fields and maybe I could have a layout for sellers which would be a different kind of layout. Uh, a lot that's been requested for quite some time. Notice the little notification icon here, it tells you about, you can go here to read about the new UI for the templates that's just been released. Um, but all in all, it's a really, really nice uh, list. I can go back to the home screen. I can see this is kind of a, um, a weird task, but it leads me to show you about one other thing. I really like the view for closing tasks here. But it's also going to lead me to show you about GameScope. Now Zoho has a games where you can set up for your sales team to give them rewards for finishing tasks or uh, converting leads. So notice if I click to close this task and click yes, I um, get a badge. I'm a champ. I have only eight more tasks to go and then I get a badge. It's, it's kind of a fun thing to play to encourage people to use Zoho more. But also I've got a really great way to add a follow-up task for this person. So it's actually a really nice new feature of how they're handling um, taking care of tasks. I think that you're going to really like the new Zoho, but if you get confused and need to go back, it's easy to click on this link and return to the older version um, if there's something you can't find or until you get used to it. But I really highly recommend that you stay in the new version and kind of play with it. Um, eventually, this will be uh, the default version for all users. But I'm, I've been using it since December, and I think it's a really great option. If you'd like to know more about Zoho CRM, 
You can pick up a copy of my Zoho CRM Quick Study Guide on Amazon. It has almost 400 pages of step-by-step -step procedures on how you can use Zoho every day to be more efficient. It also includes detailed sections for the Zoho Administrator on all of the commands you need to know to make you the Zoho Guru in your organization. Of course, if you'd rather have help in customizing your CRM or training your team, just send me an email and we can set up a time to chat.